Hello, Sag. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you back. Wow, I am so happy to have you here, Sad. I hope you guys are feeling well. I hope you guys are feeling fantastic. And I just want to say thank you so much again for being here. Thank you so much for being, bringing all of your love, all of your light into this space. And we are going to go ahead and do your April 1st through the 15th love and general. So I do want to go ahead and say Sagittarius, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I also offer mediumship based readings. All that is priced down below. Also, you guys, please check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I also have um, a Reiki giveaway session going on right now. Um, and also, excuse me, and also I offer complimentary healing sessions as I am guided. So if you guys are feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, I do have my cash app below. I have my Indie Duck wish list. I have my Amazon wish list and I have my PayPal. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, Saj, let's see what is happening with you. So as we move into April 1st through the 15th, we have inner flow and cycle. A lot of you guys are surrounded by ravens. I'm having a vision of raven energy. So this is about, it's very symbolic of um, the underworld. It's very symbolic of a lot of, um, you know, feeling like that shadow energy, feeling really confused about your life purpose. A lot of you guys are really influenced right now by, by some negativity around you. Listen, the ravens are not bad, okay? The ravens are completely, completely amazing. But I am getting that a big part of this is also about trusting your instincts, okay? Trusting um, who you are, trusting where you're headed in life, okay? So right now there's a test, yeah? There is a test. So in regards to this being a test, the ravens are also symbolic of healing, okay, everything that is healing. And I do feel right now there's something being illuminated about your shadow side. We have inner flow and cycle. So the moon, so there's an influence of the moon here, okay? So I want you to be aware of that. Here we have Sekhmet, we have warrior spirit, okay? So this is an Egyptian influence. You guys are really carving out a lot of your past life energies, yeah? You are moving through a lot of your karma, your karmic energies, and I do feel that in regards to this, you guys may be ascending to a different plane. I'm getting a, an ascension process for you this airy season. Some of you guys are really laying something to rest, okay? This feels like a battle or a power struggle within your family, even like a power struggle within other people. You are saying, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I even going there, right? So let's go ahead and, and see what else is going on here. So we have deserved reward and purpose in reverse, yeah? So there's something that you guys want right now. There's something really important in life. And I do feel that this is very symbolic, okay? It's very symbolic to letting something go. You guys are, are really feeling resentful about something. And in order to transcend, in order to really, really invite new energy, prosperity, abundance, you have to really allow... You have to really allow a new way of life, you guys, okay? So give yourselves time. Give yourselves time to really analyze. What is it that's bothering you, okay? What is it that's bothering you? So let's continue, Saj. Because there's something about your lifestyle you guys want to change, and it's almost like you're ready. In April, it's like I'm getting this energy of feeling ready. You are ready. We do have Make-A-Wish, Okay, so something you've always wanted, something that you've deeply, deeply wanted, something that's always, it's been like, you know, a desire of yours. Okay, it's coming into fruition, but you have to trust. You have to trust this process. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am getting some um, financial there is going to be a little bit of an uphill energy around the 12th, okay? Because you're not, something about not following your intuition. But see, 
sad your instincts will never lie my loves your instincts are so on point your instincts are so there that you have to trust it even though you can't see it right now you are being guided away from a lifestyle that maybe isn't for you okay so let's go ahead and see what's going on Sagittarius shall we okay Okay, Saj, what is going on here? General energies. <laughs> okay, Saj, listen, the nine of pentacles, you are loving life. As we move into April, a lot of you guys are moving into an entrepreneurship. Maybe you're doing something on your own. You're really choosing to do something. It's like you're doing something that scares you, but you're taking a risk. But I have to tell you something. I want you to be careful between your shadow and light. Some of you guys are really torn between morality. You're constantly being pulled down and you're being pulled up between your higher self and your lower self. Because a lot of you have some karmic energies around money and power. So what's happening in April, you're being challenged to clear a lot of this, okay? You are being challenged to clear a lot of maybe the insecurities that you have around not being good enough because it's affecting your leadership, okay? Let's see, what is your general theme? Okay, so we do, <laughs> we do have the uh, page of pentacles here in reverse. Okay, page of pentacles in reverse, my loves. Um, some of you guys are, there's, there's an end of a cycle with something. You're letting a project go. You're ending something that was very um, lucrative or you thought maybe it was bringing you a lot of money. Um, there's something that is going, an investment that is falling through for the better. Because I do feel you guys moving into a lower vibrating state just in case, okay? It's almost like a gamble. My spirit guides are saying a gamble. I am having a vision of a lot of indigos and purples here. So please be aware of your psychic energy, your dreams. Your angels are trying to connect with you through your dreams, okay? So let's go ahead and see what's going on. We have the Knight of Swords, okay? So there's going to be rushed communication. There's something really moving, really changing very quickly. There's something very fast happening here for you. So we do have the Knight of Swords, um, actually, excuse me, the Queen of Jovian of Swords. This looks like the Queen of Swords. Look at that. Queen of Swords, you guys. Yes. Look at that butterfly. You're learning that through your hardships, you guys, some of you guys are going to connect with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but through your hardships, you're learning a lot about you know, you're learning a lot about your own inner transformation. You're becoming more sure of who you are. You're mentally becoming more, it's like you're becoming more understanding of who you are, okay? So general energies for Saj. Listen, this is going to be a monumental change for you. Some of you guys, this this connection is going to help you cut through the BS. You're going to see things a lot more differently. Some of you, this is a mother, this is a best friend, but I'm getting a lot of, oh, I'm hearing legalities, okay? Something legal is happening here uh, around um, work or career, and some of you guys are just going to decide. It's like you're, you're laying down the sword, okay? You no longer want to fight. You no longer want to be in a position of, you know, chaos. You're saying, listen, I, I just want to be myself. I want to be in a position of feeling good and free. So what else is going on for you, Saj? Wow. It's like you're opening your own light. Okay. A lot of you guys are surrounded by ravens. Pay attention to the raven totem, you guys, and what it's saying to you. Do not fall into the trap of lovers in reverse. There is a tendency here to choose um, instant gratification in power and control in terms of your career, business, because of fear. You guys are fearing an ascension. But look, your angels are saying you're ready. You're ready. You're so ready, Sad. You are so ready to, to really transform. Do not let this be a thing. Like, allow this to be what it's going to be, okay? So, wow. There's an avoidance here, okay? Wow, you guys. 
Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with love, shall we? I'm getting a lot of Faith Evans here for you, Saj, in love. When he used to love me. You guys are nostalgic about a Sag, Leo, Aries. I'm also getting a Cancer, <clears throat> Scorpio, Pisces. There's some nostalgia around here. So let's go ahead and see Sag in love. I remember one on you used to love me. I remember the way you used to love me. Okay? So we have the two of swords in reverse. There's a, some clarity around your heart. Some of you guys were blocking someone out for a while. And, you know, I am getting that time heals. My spirit guides are saying, honey, time heals all wounds. Something about this, <clears throat> it's it's been worth the wait or something about this feels as if you've been waiting for quite some time, okay? So let's go ahead and see what we have going on for you, Sag and Love. Yes. There's some news for you, okay? I remember. Na, na, na. There's news for you. And something about this person makes you feel like you're not good enough. Or it's really hard for you to see um, yourself with this person because they're very successful. They're, they're highly, you know, intuitive, I'm hearing. They're very in tune with the ethers. And they're very in tune with you. They know who you are. Okay, and I'm just getting a fear around being who you are around them, and I'm getting a lot of moon energy, so there's something about your subconscious, you're working out a lot of your shadow work, you're working out a lot of your subconscious energy with this person, you're very fearful, okay, you're very fearful, or this person is very fearful of the kind of love that you can invoke in them, because you are just that person to them, you know, I remember our late night conversations. Yes. So we have the four of pentacles in reverse, Saj, in love. This is what it is. The illumination of light. The illumination of the moon. Okay. Wow. A lot of you guys are really focusing on mending. You really want to mend this connection. There's a desire to, you know, mend something here. Maybe this, there was something that was broken and you're dreaming, you're dreaming of patching it up, okay? So, Saj in love, pa, excuse me, Saj in love. Yes. I want you guys to be aware that, you know, some of you guys are really moving through a very tough time in terms of your heart because I could feel my heart feeling heavy. This is tough for you because you're in love with someone who is a mirror of you, a mirror soul. Maybe this is a twin, but this is not the right time for union. This is not the right time to come together with this person because this person is, I, I feel both of you guys are working through a lot of your shadow, okay? But it's a tough situation because your heart feels heavy. It feels heavy because there's been so much truth around betrayal and you're like, how, right? How? Empty promises. And I, I just saw a butterfly in mid-flight moving downward in front of me. Symbolic of, it's like this person gave you, you know, this person gave you life. And without them, you feel like you're, you're kind of weighed down and also learning about the truth about who they are or learning something that you felt was truth really hurt you. Okay. So let's go ahead and see Saj. Saj in love forever mine. This person really, um, feels connected to your heart. Okay. Um, I am getting that you're going to have dreams of this person if you already haven't. There's a strong telepathic connection here. So we do have the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So there's a lack of movement, but there's a lot of steady growth, steady thinking. How can we plant seeds together? How can we grow together? How can we make it last? The work, the work is in here. Okay. 
the work is definitely in here. How can we make this work? Some of you guys, I am getting a vision of a Gemini energy here. There's a Gemini coming into your life. Okay, specifically, brand new energy around the 11th. Um, I'm getting a lot of frustration around this person. If you guys have been dating, the frustration is coming from the fact that it's my way or the highway. This person does not want to meet you halfway. They're lacking loyalty. And this is kind of what makes you cringe. It's like this person does not want to see that you need balance and vice versa. You are dealing with someone who's like a, a photographer. They're in the industry. They're very um, popular. Um, I am getting a potential collaboration, but they do not. In matters of love, this person will not be submissive. They are very, very, very masculine, or they're just in charge. Six of Swords and the Tower in reverse. Listen. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. You guys are still holding on to something that happened. It's like you're trying to move on. Some of you guys are serial dating and you're trying to like, you're really trying to make an effort to keep it going. You're like, I want to make an effort to keep going. Okay. And I am getting that some of you guys are just like, you're tired, right? It's like you, you put your faith into someone and it just didn't work out. I am just getting a lot of fear, you guys. There's a lot of fear around loving this person. Okay? Excuse me. Um, for me, you guys, the um, this energy around the Six of Swords, okay, in reverse. I don't know if you guys can see me. But the Six of Swords in reverse in the Tower, in reverse talks about like really really making something happen like really trying trying to get something off the ground but listen don't force something that isn't that isn't true to who, who you are okay don't force it because the more you force it the more it's going to become something else yeah allow this to be let me clear you guys Allow this to be something else, okay? Because what I'm seeing is if you can't move on from the past, my loves, it's going to be really hard for you to start something new. So trust that you can move on so you can totally start something new. So you can really invest and get rooted on something that is worthy of your time, okay? Mwah. I love you guys. So let's see what your advice is. I hope you guys can see me. Let's see here. What is your advice? So your advice is to defend your position, you guys. Don't let people take from your light. Okay, first of all, there it is. Don't let people take from your light. Your advice is this. If you know it feels right, let it be right. Okay, don't let people try to dictate or tell you what your love life should be like. I am getting a lot of family involved or there's a lot of um, gossip around the friends telling you how to live. You know, listen, the advice, Sag, you got to get rooted on who you are, baby, because at the end of the day, you know who you are and no one can control a Sagittarius. So this is where we're at. If it's love, feel it and it's love. Go after it. Defend your position. Mwah. Love you. Bye.